Welcome back to Black TV and you're watching Top 5. Today, we're talking fake Toshis. The biggest and best kept secret in the crypto sphere is the true identity of Bitcoin creator and white paper publisher Satoshi Nakamoto. In the white paper, Nakamoto detailed, quote, a purely peer-to-peer -peer version of electronic cash that would allow online payments to be sent directly from one party to another without going through a financial institution. This created an entire industry and solidified Satoshi Nakamoto's place in history, and ever since, people have been trying to convince the world that they are this anonymous creator. With that introduction, I give you the top five fake Toshis. Kicking off the list is the number five Satoshi Nakamoto is Dorian Nakamoto. Dorian Nakamoto was called out as being Satoshi Nakamoto by Newsweek in, in a March 2014 article. Publication of the article caused major hype in the cryptosphere and even the tech community at large, as this was the first time that a mainstream publication had attempted to find out the identity of the Bitcoin creator. Newsweek claimed that there are that there were a few similarities between Satoshi and Dorian. For example, both supposedly were libertarians and Japanese. The article's author also claimed that Nakamoto told her that he was no longer involved with Bitcoin and that he had turned it over to other people. Of course, he later denied making the statement and even went on Channel 4 News to relay that message to the public. Take a look. But uh, the main reason I'm here is to clear my name that I have nothing to do with Bitcoin, nothing to do with developing. Um, I was just an engineer doing something else. Okay. And if you look at the time span, 2001, when it was supposed to be developed, uh, I wasn't there. I was working for the government through a contracting company. Still, the media frenzy ended up being profitable for Mr. Dorian Akamoto. A fund set up for him as a thank you from the Bitcoin community raised 67 Bitcoins. He reportedly cashed the Bitcoin and, according to one estimate, netted $273,000. Good for you, man. The number four on our list is Nick Zabo. Nick Zabo is a computer engineer and legal scholar who invented smart contracts and Bitgold, a precursor to Bitcoin. In a post describing Bitgold, Zabo wrote about, quote, a protocol whereby unforgettable costly bits could be created online with minimal dependence on trusted third parties. This is scarily similar to the Bitcoin concept. Many blogs and even a book author have suggested that Zabo's range of knowledge and technical abilities make him a suitable candidate for being Satoshi Nakamoto. Zabo is a pretty private person and naturally hasn't spoken out on this, so it might be true. The number three fake Toshi is Debo Guido. Debo Guido is a man from Belgium who mailed a letter to a judge in Florida claiming to be Satoshi in order to sidetrack an ongoing lawsuit against another fake Toshi. In the letter, Guido wrote, quote, I hereby testify by written letter, I am the genuine and only originator creator of the Genesis block of the Bitcoin blockchain. I use the handle Satoshi Nakamoto and mail satoshin at gmx.com to write and publish the white paper Bitcoin. When Guido was supposedly asked to confirm this by the lawyer working against the other fake Toshi via Twitter, Guido was not quick to comply, but posted a photo of the conversation nonetheless. The number two fake Toshi on our list is Paul LaRue. Paul LaRue is a 46-year-old cartel boss who is supposedly quite the character. People may already be familiar with LaRue's life story, which surfaced in a seven-part series on Atavist and the book that followed titled The Mastermind. LaRue built a criminal empire. He was criminal cartel boss who was reportedly in U.S. custody for ordering the assassination of six people. Putting aside his criminal stints, LaRue is a genius programmer who is obsessed with cryptography. This was all put together because LaRue's information wasn't redacted during an ongoing case with scientist Craig Wright, also a fake Toshi. It is believed that Wright is in possession of encrypted hard drives containing LaRue's multi-billion dollar stash of Bitcoins. It's a crazy theory, and yet, on closer inspection, there is a prime case for Bitcoin's mastermind being criminal mastermind LaRue. 
The number one fake Toshi on our list of the top five is Craig Wright. Individuals suspected of being Satoshi Nakamoto have denied the claim or remained silent, as we've seen with this list. That is not the case with Australian scientist Craig S. Wright. Wright was reportedly introduced to the world at a Bitcoin investors conference in Las Vegas in 2015. He claimed to have been involved with Bitcoin for a long time, but chose to keep his head down and was, at the time, ready to go public. Wright even spoke to BBC News in 2016. Take a look. My name's Craig Wright and I'm about to demonstrate um, a signing of a message with the public key that is associated with um, the first transaction ever done on Bitcoin. And who does the world think did that first transaction? What's the name associated with that first transaction? The monkey is Satoshi Nakamoto. So you're going to show me that Satoshi Nakamoto is you? Yes. Some people will believe, some people won't. And to tell you the truth, I don't really care. But you can say, hand on heart to me, I am Satoshi Nakamoto. I was the main part of it. Other people helped me. The cryptosphere loves to hate on the man who coined the name Fake Toshi, but Wright doesn't have a care in the world and continues to act as a crypto figure, leading the initiative to hard fork Bitcoin Cash into BSV, in addition to being the chief scientist at Enchain, a startup that is building a competitor to the original Bitcoin. The guy is busy. The real identity of Satoshi Nakamoto has yet to be determined. Some believe that it is just one person and others theorize that Nakamoto is actually a group of people. We will definitely continue to speculate and when more fake Toshis come out of the shadows, we will be ready to call them out. Until then, bye for now. For more news and updates, follow us on Twitter 